Oh, Benito Caboni. Oh, Benito Caboni. Well, that's got to be the most budget of intros I've ever done in my life. <laughs> you only had two £10 notes. That's why I had to use just paper. Never mind. Um, a couple of admin, bit of a admin itself first. The reason I am really red today is because I jog to work and jogging seemingly kills me um, starting on the inside and outwards and I slowly die the further I go. Um, and the journey to work is roughly a mile. Yeah. So I've got a fan to cool me down and uh, I'm ready to play chat man. Let's go. Dive straight in. Um, where were we at? Coventry away in four days. I remember losing to West Brom. Apologies in the last video. I kept calling West Brom Millwall, which is obviously not. Um, I cocked one a few of my words. I don't, I'm not sure why. I remember watching it back thinking, why have I said that? That's not his name. Or why have I just been calling West Brom Millwall? Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you picked up on it. Uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you for your comments. Um, oh, what's happened here? Some good comments actually. Some constructive comments this week, which we'll go to now. My phone sorts itself out. Uh, but yeah, last match we lost to West Brom. Tom and Deer has still got man a match in like a weird, random way. I don't know how. Um, and the biggest news, which relates to that intro, is Carbon is going for 5.5 million pounds. So I'm gonna have a bit of a well, I'm hoping it's not going to go into just just finance my debt. No, and I've got three million in there, um, so I'm going to go into the transfer market and try and get another midfielder, Frederick Risp, and potentially another centre forward. Exciting times. Um, so these are your comments, Stefan Petkovic. Thank you for watching. Um, he gave me a list of players, like literally a, a, a list, like so long. I, I'll I'll be here all all day. I'll just do a, f a few of them. Bergstrom is alright let me guess is he Swedish yes Michael Brown from Sheffield United Sally from Coronation Street Jan Sally he's alright he's alright I like him uh, Venitez when oh I think Venitez might be on Venitez oh no he's not Dundee ooh Oh, I like him. Hey, we'll bid on him. I like Venetis. Also, he's Greek. Yeah, him and Chiotis can have some uzos together on the on the beach at Bradford. Um, I know Bradford City Park won't build them, right? Centenary Square. Um, Trevor Benjamin. As if Trevor Benjamin gets a name drop, he can't be that good. Surely, 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 Bassi. Trevor Benjamin, 22. Yeah, he's good, but he's playing. Uh, yeah, thank you anyway. He also says the best formation is two centre halves, three DMCs, two attack midfielders, three strikers. Um, uh, attack, short passing, hard tackling, pressing, man. Oh, then he gets a bit aroused. Gareth Walker, um, two tips change your centre backs to man marking. Are you sure? Are you sure? And we'll try it then. Uh, it will improve your performance and you can stop any any goals. Number two, if... Oh, sorry. Ooh, what am I doing here? Oh, oh, sorry. If you're if the opposition play with only one strike and you pick your centre-back with the best marking stats to mark them, and then your other, other centre-back to do, do zonal. Thank you, Gareth. Um, this is from a regular viewer now. I'd love to know how you pronounce your name because I always think I'm getting it wrong. Jack R... I've won 56 trophies in 19 seasons. I know this game inside out and back to front. I usually have five or six tactical setups saved and ready to use at any time during the match. You cannot, you can't always use your best marking setup to against a lone striker if he plays the opposite side of your marker, because he will leave a huge gap. This guy, 56 trophies in 19 seasons. That's unbelievable. And then they're having, they're having a little conversation here. It's lovely. It's brilliant. I love it. A little community going on.
closet or anything, the intruders come. Um, who else? Uh, Richard Ellershaw. I, mean, I know it's only a video, but I'm sure you talk to the, into the game when you're playing it off camera too. Yeah, I do. I actually do. It's probably worse off camera too, honest with you. Um, thank you. Thank you for your comments. Right, let's go. <coughs> Slowly down inside. Uh, Phil Moraine's contract's going. Why not? Is he premiership material? Who knows? Hacker Mill to come. No complications. Got him on a Bosman. DMC. Brilliant backup for Stuart McCall. Forgot his name. Um, there might be a bit of background noise, the fan in the, in the window. And I don't ever watch test to see if it works, so if it's noisy, I'm sorry. I have to do some post editing. Carl Strummerville full steering, full straining, training, brilliant. <coughs> he's going to Roma. I'm not surprised you're going to Roma, mate. I am not surprised. Um, go back to your roots. You know, you can, your family can move over there. You've done a good turn. Well done, my sunshine. I missed Windows Land again. So I'm not actually going to get that money in now, I'm until January. But in the meantime, I have got enough to buy a risp. So I can't spend it for another month. Bit annoying. Right. So, I said last game I was going to drop a few players. And I am. I was going to drop Carl Nielsen, which I will be dropping him for Duff, not Stephen Warnock. Um, and we're going to be having Chris Morgan play again with Weatherall. Uh, McCall come back at DMC and it's as it as you were really um, Wally, Calstrom because Bakley Kloglu started so Calstrom will come back in but he's just come back from injury it's a risk I'm willing to take um, I do need to sort out my tactics and my training up. I might do a separate video for my training because that could be a laborious task um, Hacker Mill straight in on the bench. See, I'm still going to put Carboni on the bench because he'll, he'll still do a job for me. We are, we're not leaving under uncertain terms. He's not in a mood. He just, you know, goes every single time. Contrary, won't be a pushover, I'll tell you that much for nothing. Um, and that could go off, actually. I don't need that anymore. It's a bit loud. And I'm going to have a look at their players in a minute. Julian Joachim. Oh, he was brilliant with Julian Joachim. Who's Chippo when he's at home? Fucking Lee Hughes. The Enigma. Yusef Chippo. They've got a good team, you know. They've got a very good team. Um, what? I don't know what to do. Why, why is Weatherall captain on McCall? But I've caught that up, haven't I? Big time. Ah, oh, you frigging hell! Oh, fuck. Come on, super subs. Is this where I start to hit a, 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 a patch of dodgy form? Oh, frigging. It doesn't help that I'm really warm as well. They're keeping. Of, yeah. You know what? Magnus Hedner, this guy is the bane of my life. Every time I play against this guy, I've got some other saves going on. He always gets he gets man at match or he plays really well. He's got a nine there with 12 shots hit on target. You wind me up. Thank you for that. Oh, Cheers. Well done, see you later. Thanks for this, you don't know what you need. 
No, oh, no worries. If you need, if you need help else at all, just ring us. You know, we're down the road. We'll sort something for you. Yeah. Bye. Work. Right, where are I? 11 minutes, I'm not even through a game. Full time, loves 2 0. That's not good at all, is it? Watford are pulling away with a cracking 6 2 away win at Blooming Burnley. I told you about Bradley Maitley. What did I say about Bradley Maitley? You go back to episode 1 or 2. Bradley Maitley, he's on my short list. I'm telling you. I know these players. Um, look at this, look at this. Bloody hell. Everyone in the bloody mother's scored. Bloody hell. Walking on, walking on, Stephen Glass. Stephen Glass. Um, next game, home to Grimsby. We were mid table. I think the problem is McCall wanted to be captain. I think that could have done us there. Um, I'm also wondering if Man Mark in centre half did me any favours. Although they did alright, didn't they? and Hughes scored oh. the rule reserves lost does anybody manage the reserve team? does that actually happen? N I never do it, never do it no stop it stop it no who's, who's, who's your agent Dave? eh? big Dave I forgot how long he played for Leeds for is as much a Leeds legend as Bradford actually, you could argue. No, I'm denying it. Go away, he's not on the transfer list. Cats come and poach my players. Get a bit of film or iron. Right. Believe it or not, I'm gonna play Hacker Mild after saying that, because he is tired. Is um well there's oh my god, Tom Madeira, 81%. Is this Mac Daddy's time to shine? Oh, he's injured. Uh, right, I've got to think about this now. Chance are I'm going to bring Tomadera off. I'm going to start him and then bring him off. Hacker Mill will start. How did my fullbacks do? Jimovic got a six, first thing of the season. Let's just crack on with this. Now, if I lose this, I'm, I'm, I'm taking my um, centre backs off my marking because I'm worried I've done something to him. What's going on? Thank you, Gary Speed. They're not exactly Real Madrid out of Grimsby. Bloody hell. Bloody Brian McDermott scored as a bloody rugby player. And now Chris Morgan gets sent off. Chorts for a bloody five. Oh, I said they were going to put Walsh in net. Fuck. can still win this. We can definitely still win this. Right. The problem is, Tomadeo will be knackered now. He is knackered. Oh, he's, but he's getting a seven. Fuck. I'll give him 10, 15 minutes. He's got a goal in him. Surely he's got a goal in him as Tomadeo. Well, I might as well bring him off now, aren't I? Fucking shite. But he's getting an eight. He's not going anywhere. He can play tired, mate. with shit. Oh, well played, Danny Coin. Well played, mate. This is shocking. I feel like I should find you for that poor performance. Bloody hell, can you have him, anyone have anyone more up and down? Eight, nine, eight, five, eight, five. Don't really know what to say. Um, 
Go home to Portsmouth in seven days. How did Hacking Mill do? Got a six. What to do, what to do, what to do. Well, you know what? I don't know if that did help. <laughs> I can't help it. I haven't lost in like two games. Well, I haven't lost. Right, brilliant. Get fucking wrist spin. You will be indispensable, Frederick Risp. I need to sign him quickly before my, my finances go down. FA Cup! Away oh, to Tottenham! In the third round, away to Tottenham. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, that's not good. Get in. I'm signing Frederick Risp. Get in. He'll go straight in there. No messing about. Alongside Weathers. Don't matter, I've got Frederick Risp. Hope for Frederick, Frederick Riss will sure up the defence. Some weird noises going on today. Here we are, Pompey. Uh, Pompey of 14th, okay? Jeremy Vincent, he's no good left back. Um, they've got a very young Peter Crouch, 20 years old. Look at that. I don't. I actually don't think Peter Crouch is jumping. He's 20. I'm not saying he can't jump. I just don't think he's 20. Right, Gary Walsh, you're back in, my friend. Jeremy Victory, Duff, Riss, Weatherall, Mac, All. Wally's on low morale, you know, and I don't like it. I do not like it at all. He was flying at the start of the season, all his goals. And I kept thinking it was just pure luck. What am I doing here? Um, as you were, Wally's out of form. Now, I'm going to give him this game. If he doesn't do something in this game, what did he get last game? He got a six and got subbed off. If he doesn't do something in this game, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a seven or above with a few key, uh, a couple of key passes, runs, something like that. Then he'll be dropped. It's kind of last chance saloon. No, he's not going to sell him. I'm just going to drop him. Um, Getting Kim Kalstrom. Two shots, two. Two shots, one goal. Where's it? Oh, we captain again. I can't remember just to change that. Bloody reminder on my phone. We're getting his bloody back up with McCall. See, he's getting his. Change him halfway through. I'll have a word with Weathers and say, look, it's not really working for you as captain. You need someone else in there to rally the troops. This is too close, is this? A little Portuguese diamond. Till no two we have got the assist. Jimmy Victory, obviously. Duff were nine. How's Risp doing? Risp's doing really well. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh my god. Oh. Let's put Akin Mild in that midfield. Just sure up. That's for, that's for you minutes. I bet he didn't touch the ball, didn't even touch the ball. I needed that, didn't I? I bloody needed that. Look at this, eh? It's tight up here, isn't it? Watford is storming away for it. I've only lost four, may I just start? Oh no, I've lost seven. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm sure I've lost more than four. Um, 
Jeremy Victory, another assist. That's his seventh of the season from left back. Uh, Mike Duff with an eight. Um, general performance, Roy Blake steps up to the plate there. How did Wally do? He got a seven, two key passes. He did exactly what I asked of him. Um, so he'll stay in there with Gaswell. Um, where we at? We've got Barnsley away in seven days. Yorkshire Derby. Who are Barnsley got? Oh, is that your ranking? We all remember him. Um, Kevin Gallen, where are the 12th? So, not going to say it. Not going to say it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I need that money to come in, really. We've got Carbone going out, 5.5 um, .5 million on the second, so in a couple of weeks' time. I'll be looking into the transfer market. I might do a separate video on the, on the training side of things because this guy sent me loads of advice on training, uh, which I'm keen to do actually um, in this save. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching. Apologies for the beetroot ahead. Um, until next time, goodbye.